So here's some examples of things that you can do once you've got the plot up. We can use experiment with a view command. I can experiment with a uh, view of 0 and 90. And 90 degrees means I'm looking down normal to that figure. So I'll look straight down on the Great Lakes, hit enter, and we'll look straight down on it. One thing that I can do is if you'll notice the white space around the periphery, it looks kind of unsightly, we can do this. Axis tight, hit enter on that, cleans that up, and we'll say box on. And what that'll do is it'll draw a uh, black box around the border of the frame. It looks a little bit cleaner. At that window resolution, it may not be apparent, but if I increase the size of it, you can begin to see the, the uh, box forming around it. I can do things like turn the box on and off. I'll turn it back off again. It's not real apparent from this uh, viewpoint, I don't think, but we'll leave the box on for whatever. And I can also take in the screen, I can grab this little icon, and I can grab my figure and rotate it. It takes some time to render it as it's rotating. And I can get a side view, and I can tilt it a little bit. So I can get views all over the place. But note that the default view is a 0 and 90 degree angle. And I'll double click it. And when I double click it, it goes back to the default view. Let's play around a little bit more maybe with view. And we could say view 30 and 90. That'll rotate it a little bit. A view of 45 and 90 will go a little bit more. Let's put it back to 0 and 90. And let's do... 0 and 60. So we'll look at down at it uh, at a slight angle. We could do 0 and 30, so we're coming down even lower. If you really wanted to go low, we could go a view of 10, and I don't know what it'll do, but a view of 0 is just a side view of the thing. So let's go back in 0 of 90, put it back into map mode. Another thing I can do is call the color bar, and it will tell me well, what it, it ought to tell me are the elevations as a function of these different colors. And I'm not at all sure why it is giving me different values like this, why there are three columns being populated. I'll have to look into that a little bit later. But it'll, it will give me some quantitative information, like it'll say there's uh, 500 feet at this lower lake, upwards around 1,000 feet. Seems to be pretty typical. This is the UP of Michigan right here. I know uh, it is up around 1,000 feet and things like this. The highest peaks right around here are about... Uh, 2,500 feet, something like that. If you plot the square root of all of the elevations like you're doing in the, uh, the homework assignment, you'll see this being scaled from 0 to 50. And what you're actually plotting are the, scare, the square roots of all of the elevations. So if you see something weird in terms of the elevations themselves, that's what's going on. So let's try a color bar. And this might work. Color bar off in it. it well, it does, sort of, but it messes everything else up. So experiment it with it, see if you can figure it out, see if it's helpful for you. I reran the code, clean the figure back up again, and let's do, again, I'll go view 0 and 90, and let's do axis tight to clean it up, and the box is on, I don't, you probably can't see it. Let's play around with the aspect ratio, it's PB aspect is the function that we're interested in, or what I told you to use. But here, I'll just do help PB aspect. And I hit enter, and it gives me some different information on it. And it says that it's looking for an array of numbers. And let's, I don't know, let's experiment with this thing. Let's clear, clear the console. I'll get this out of the way. No, one thing I'm doing, I've got the command line here, and I can make quick changes to the figure on the fly. I don't actually have to rerun the code to try to figure out what some of this does. So let's try PB aspect and it requires three numbers. I don't really know what they are at the beginning. Let's just play around with it in the command line. 2, 5, and 6. Oh, that doesn't look right. How about 5, 2, 6? Right, we'll see what, what happens if I said 15, 2, 6. It, makes it, it looks like it makes it longer and skinnier. What if I said 15, 26? It makes it a little bit taller. So it looks like the ratio, the aspect ratio, when I'm thinking about this, is a little bit taller than it is wide. And maybe let's try this. We'll do size topo M. And my array is 948 rows uh, vertically in 1975 wide. Let's try PB aspect with those numbers. And I'll run it. Um, let's try, I think, when I ran the code, I've already defined variables. I've got IMAX and JMAX defined. So let's do PB aspect. And I'll use IMAX and JMAX. And I hit enter on that, and it squished it. It went the wrong way. Let me run it now. 
I look at it, I, I screwed up the order of it. IMAX and 6, there, that seems to be reasonably proportioned. So let's try view 30 and, I don't know, 80, get it in a view like that. Uh, we could drop it, drop our elevation down even more, 60. And what's interesting to me now is that everything is flat. And if I do PB aspect again, I am wondering, what I'm thinking about right now was what is this 6 doing? And I could do 15 maybe. 15 makes it taller. How big do I want to go with it? What does 50 do? It's a little bit bigger. How about 500? So at 500, it looks like we get enough elevation on PB aspect. Let's run a view now with this at 0 and 60. Yeah, I start to see a lot of um, better profiles. Maybe we we'll tilt, turn it at a 30 degree angle to get at that. Now I'm wondering what happens if I set PB aspect back down to 5 and from this view it flattens it. So that third component is our Z, almost like a gain in the Z direction. So now I'm wondering what happens if we go bigger on it and it gets ridiculously tall, of course. So 500 puts us back there. Uh, 1000 makes it a little bit... It, exa it What it does is it exaggerates the heights of these peaks. So, I don't know, something reasonable might be on the order of 500. 500 even is, is exaggerated, but I don't know, maybe 100 or 200. But it's something you can tinker with. And, and I really encourage you to just explore what these different commands are doing. And I, I don't know what I'm doing at first until I really tinker with this stuff and suffer through a lot of errors. But um, yeah, do tinker around and see what these things do.